Okay, what we have here is a uh, rear clutch assembly. This little piece here bolts on to the rear differential. The rear drive shaft goes into this end here. We have the, the yoke assembly right here, which we pulled off of there. This is off a all-wheel drive 07 Chrysler Pacifica with a 4.0. What it has is an electronic clutch assembly on the rear that bolts in front of the rear differential that will once the, the vehicle notices the rear axle or notices the front wheel slipping it will start to engage the uh, rear wheels and how it does that is there is a uh, magnetic clutch assembly here uh, the problem with this vehicle was is that it the clutch the uh, clutch pack froze up and made the vehicle undrivable and in fact it twists it twisted the uh, drive shaft up like a pretzel because when you try to turn a corner and your clutch your four-wheel drive is totally locked in something's got to give somewhere so what gave on this vehicle is the is the drive shaft basically wrapped up and that was because the clutch assembly was locked because of due to overheating i would imagine so here we have we have here is the electronic assembly which goes into the front of this housing here and that is pulse width activated by the pcm when it notices slip the more slippage the more duty cycle here is the drum this is the where the clutches sit inside there's two sets of clutches in here and then there's also a uh, a cam plate that the first clutch assembly is uh, is applied by the uh, by the uh, magnetic clutch and the second clutch assembly is applied when the magnetic clutch is applied there's a cam plate here with some check balls on you can see and that will ride on the bottom of the clutch of this here clutch pack and that'll basically when that rotates that'll uh, tighten up these here clutches so that will further engage so that all the pressure isn't riding just on the on the bottom clutches and that'll further engage that'll press this here clutch pack together and that'll reduce the rear the amount of slippage that is allowed Again, I said the problem was that this thing basically froze up. It uh, locked up so bad it, it uh, twisted the drive shaft. And when I took this thing apart, sure enough, the bottom clutch assembly, the one that is magnetically ap activated, she's, we got some friction material here that's absolutely melted down. You almost have to be here to smell this because this, if you smell it burnt, grease before it's definitely reeking in here right now so here we have the clutches they were basically they froze up overheating and uh, we take these apart this here clutch assembly apart and it I mean it's burnt but it really the clutches aren't too bad you can still see lines in them they're not wore out at all but what happened is that this bottom one locked up that pushed the cam in so these locked up and no more no more slippage was allowed so something had to give and in this case it was the drive shaft okay what we noticed about this uh, if you buy one of these to replace them they're about 300 bucks it comes complete put together nothing here is serviceable as far as I know if you'd wanted to rebuild it I couldn't find any parts and there's actually very little information about doing it, rebuilding one of these anyways when you get it this here drum here is sealed and whatever lubricant is sealed inside of here here's the this here is the top cover there was a seal an oil seal in here that sealed that up so that our shaft assembly basically stuck through there and that was sealed onto there and around the outside here we'll notice that there's an o-ring so that when that this here sits in the here this whole drum assembly is sealed so the lubricant that is in the rear end the the gear lube that is in the rear differential does not lubricate this here assembly in fact when you bolt this assembly up to the to the rear differential it's actually dry inside because all your lubricant is actually contained in the clutch assembly here so I would imagine what happened is that for whatever reason probably maybe spinning the tires in the snow this winter or something because this vehicle has been down for a little while here before I could get one of these clutch assemblies is that they probably spun the wheels a little too much overheated the primary clutch assembly here it froze up 
and that basically locked the cam in to lock up the second clutches and no more slipping and we busted up the drive shaft. So they've been driving it around for a little while. You can drive these without the rear drive shaft. You'll just have a two wheel drive vehicle. It, there's no, no four wheel drive engagement in the uh, transfer gear or transfer or what you would call the transfer case I guess. This here is very similar actually to what you find in most automatic transfer cases with the clutch assembly and uh, in the uh, cam assembly to uh, push it, push up against the clutches to tighten it all up. So we replaced all this and we're good to go. The vehicle runs again, turns nice and smooth, you don't hear any chattering or any problems like that. There's a just typical transmission type stuff here. We got a washer, got a uh, curled around lock ring to hold everything in. Nothing here is really under any pressure because it has to slip on its own until until the magnetic clutch is activated, everything is supposed to actually slip with very little restriction. And that's about it. It's uh, not the greatest setup in the world. The vehicle only had like 60,000 miles on it, I think, or maybe it's 80,000. And it was an 07 Pacifica. And replacing this here whole assembly, it comes complete. Just four bolts to hold it in and bolt your drive shaft back up to your yoke and away you go. I did change the, the gear lube in the rear end, it's just 7590 synthetic. But again, the gear lube that's in the, that's in the rear differential does not lubricate the, uh, the clutch assembly here. So I guess that's about it.